Alright, back in action. Game number two here in the losers brackets. Uh, I want to give a quick nod. We do this. We didn't do the sponsors justice. So a quick little love to Chairs for Gaming, CM Storm, and of course Proxy.gg. Proxy.gg, of course, the newest sponsor to any tournament we've brought up, guys. If you use their promo code or if you use our promo code, Base Trade TV, when signing up, you get 20 free points on their website. Now, what is the website? What are the points for? Uh, it's basically the same thing as Part Two. So it's an online imaginary point betting system that you can eventually trade in for prizes. So check it out, Proxy.gg. But spawning in the bottom left corner of the map. Playing for complexity. It's gonna be the blue Terran player, Taiga. He never writes as the yellow Zerg. It's Root Cats. Yeah, he's up he's up 101. That was a really convincing game out of cats. I mean, we talked about, you know, looking a little bit awkward in game in the first series for each of these players, which sent them to the losers match, and I, cats I felt played way better that game. A little more crisp. We didn't really see a lot of bad engagements. There's that one engagement around the third that was questionable, but he made it good in the end. Taiga though, oh those medevacs. I'm not sure what happens with them. He like he, he goes for these really aggressive moves and I like that, but then he fumbles them, you know, like really hardcore. Yeah, I wouldn't even say it's so much cats written really well as Taiga just messing up at key points. You know, because like again like cats he wasn't taking the absolute like, like craziest engagements and winning automatically. They were good, and then he won eventually. And you know, his little creeps, uh, creeps red deal, and he figured out a couple of upgrades. It seems like both players are kind of playing a little off their game. But you know, if Cats can win this one, then he has time to kind of shake it off as we do play the winners match next. Um, I guess same for Tiger really. But at this point, Tiger just isn't having me very hopeful. Yeah, and this really breaks me heart too, because I mean, again, nothing against Fog or Schnitzel, but these two guys are the ones I figured were going to get out of the group tonight, but instead we're casting them here in the losers match. Uh, it's, it is sad to think that one of them is about to be eliminated, but we'll see if Cats can lock it down with the 2-0 or if Tiger can bring it back. Uh, I am really excited for the next match, though, because A, Schnitzel kind of did a bit of an upset, I'd say, taking Cats down in the first series, and uh, Fog is a pretty good Zerg player, so we'll see how that winners match goes. Yeah. All right, so uh, Reaper goes to the wrong place first. A little unfortunate. Huh? Did he never actually get a scout? Oh no, that was that was Cats that was scouting around, seeing where his opponent was. So yeah, the we'll find it now. Well, Taiga, what can you really do with this information, right? There's only a couple ways in the base. Cats has got two of them covered. So he just waltzes right up the ramp. The least likely thing you'd expect out of a Reaper. <laughs> I wonder why, uh, I actually do wonder why Cat's drone scouted or bother drone scouting. <laughs> um, usually you drone scout in like a two player or even a three player map because you're afraid of like a two racks. But, uh, you know, otherwise, you, you, you find your opponent is at the lings anyways, but. Well, that was his choice and uh, maybe he had the opportunity, maybe if he saw that it was a 14 CC, he would have sent like lings over to harass a little bit or something like that. Um, or maybe he would have gone for an all in knowing that there was no Reaper. Actually, there's a lot of more opportunities that's more I think about it, the more I realize it's actually a pretty good deal. Yeah, a lot of what ifs and maybes, but can he capitalize on any of them? Ooh, there we go. Yeah, good one. Good segue. Well, it is going to be a uh, two base build for now. It looks to be actually this uh, Marine Hellion drop, which was so popular back in the day, but it's kind of died off. I guess this could be for a Viking as well, um, but with four, you know, five, six Marines, it's usually the Hellion drop. Yeah, the Hellions have actually not been too bad. I mean, like, in every game Tiger's used them in, he's got some kills at least with them, but... Uh, yeah, I don't know. It, it, it's so hard on Ooh. Nimbus to really use them to their fullest potential. Uh-oh. Well, this is a nice Overlord Scout. It's a freebie if you see the Marines are trying to chase other Overlords that aren't even in position. But Katz gets a very early Bailing Nest. Now, I don't know... Well, actually, might I think... be thinking Hellbats. Yeah, with these drones, well, even then you usually get a third before you get a bailing nest. That's just how the timing works out. I think he might have been planning on going for a bit, like a two-base bailing all-in, but when he saw the uh, the drop, he figured he could get ahead anyways if he just defended perfectly and just droned. Well, I like that he's got some creeps right hanging out here, so if he needs to wall off, he can. Obviously, you don't want Ooh. to if you can avoid it, but uh, it is going to be an armory and it is going to be held bad, so these bailings will work out really yeah. nicely. And Katz is actually going for two base uh, Muta, so that actually explains like the two base bailing us to a little bit more. So he's going to be able to defend against this, and behind this, I mean, the production is a little like um, uh, stifled, you know, when you go for a build like this, and you include Hellbats as well. So Katz might have a good opportunity to abuse these Mutas. 
Oh, drop here is gonna get uh, poked away by cleans. There are four of them. I don't know if they'll stop, but at least one of the Marines behind. <laughs> is it? Was that creep team really necessary? Uh, I guess, I mean, vision later, bring the overlords back. <laughs> yeah, I suppose. Just like, usually you see that on overgrowth, right? When there's a lot of dead space. Yeah. But... Uh, we don't have any Banelings, despite getting a Banelings nest. He does send a Ling out to use the Hellbats and has some more Banelings right now. Yeah, he's got, his time is what's going to work against him the most here. So, cancels the third right away, pulls back, and uh, Cats... I, I feel like, even without the Banelings, with the Queens, you should be able to hold this, at least until the Banelings are out. And then once the Banelings are connected to the Hellbats, yeah, the Queens will carry the rest. So, this should be a pretty okay hold for Cats. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, five Banelings usually against, like, Marines, you think, okay, they're going to get targeted down, but when the Hobbots are all clumped up like that, the oh, nice are here as well. Yeah, absolutely just demolishes the attack. And I, here is... Uh, I almost feel like that's over, though. You know, it's it's so negative to call it this early, but that was an attack designed to do so much damage. It and, was. It and was. I don't think even Scout the Spire threw it. Well, seeing a lair without a third base, you can kind of guess. Oh, yeah, she did see the Spire, um, just barely. Oh, okay. Well, that's too. So, but you know, the, right now he doesn't have an engineering base. So even no. if he did see it, he doesn't have you know things to make turrets with. So he should, hopefully he, he'll throw it down. Yeah, he should have them in time. Uh, we did see Tiger, of course, put a lot of turrets down in that first series versus Fog. So uh, we'll see if. Oh wait, no, was that Schnitzel versus Cats? That's Schnitzel versus Cats. Yeah, I think so. That was it. Yeah, I take that back. Okay, well, how much can these mutas really do? It's gonna be the big question here. Obviously, we've seen Taiga struggle with this, not just through medevacs, but through just general control. Uh, turrets are okay, but I mean, you're gonna have to put a lot of turrets down to stop mutalisks. That's the that's the really unfortunate truth of it. Even if it's only like five or ten, uh, one turret usually just doesn't quite cut it. Yeah, his production is good though. He has enough marines where he can spread them out. I mean, he'll still want to protect the main mineral line. I mean, go ahead and throw down one at your production as well, just in case. It's not a bad investment to make, but his brain production is there, and it's, you know... Cats, though, I mean, he kind of double expands. His third was so late that yeah, the fourth I, is kind of, like, okay timed, but the same time as the third. Well, it's really going to be nice. I, I normally could talk about how this is so far away. It's not a good idea, but his creeps is actually looking fantastic, so he's able to connect to that base pretty easily. And with Taiga still not even on the third, I mean, he's just made it, but uh, this Overlord's going to get here in time to intercept and drop some creep. Ooh, ooh, did he forget they had an armory already? Uh, maybe... I, I, unless, <laughs> um, like, what are you gonna do? Transition in a Mac? He's not putting any factories. Well, unless down. that is, the, I mean, that was a thing people were trying to do. You really don't see it anymore, even from the people that were doing it. But yeah, I think that was just habit. <laughs> oh, zombie go, poor Taiga. This is yeah. this is really not uh, the Taiga I was hoping to see tonight. I'm gonna be completely honest. I don't want to get too. Well, we were hoping to see Drunken Boy, right? <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. No, I uh. I don't know, man. Lots, lots of mistakes we made tonight. It's a little unfortunate, but uh, Cat's looking a lot better on form as well. His upgrades is gonna finish up uh, a little bit behind that of Tiger's, but not by much. Mm. The biggest thing is that he'll have you know troop spread and control over the map at a very early point. I mean, Tiger, he tried to get away with some early drops in the uh, you know the series before versus Fog, for instance. Definitely not gonna happen when meters are already out. And of course, being on four bases as he is, rather comfortably, uh, that's a great two. <clears throat> well, apparently, I'm being told Twitch chat's having some issues by one of our mods, so some of the bot commands aren't working. So, uh, hopefully, that doesn't affect you guys. But sincere apologies if it does. I don't know about taking this fight. Banning speed isn't done. Um, that was only like a quarter of Katz's army, but still. I don't know about Tiger running in here on creep though. Um, that might be a little over. It's really deep on creep too. I mean, this isn't like a little bit. You back away from it. Uh, Bending oh, speed kicks in at the right time. Oh. Gets some great connects here, but still not quite enough to give the mutas the A move capability. Lots of marines on the ground, and a couple more links should be just Medivacs, that buffer that please. he needs. Medivacs, please. Oh, you just stay there, all right then. What all right, at least you're gonna survive. That's different from the last game. <laughs> I'm sorry. I want to openly weep. Like, what is going on with Tiger today? Like, seriously. Well, you know, he kept them alive, okay? Which is the, the which is good. No, wait. So you were, you were saying? <laughs> I mean, he still, he still might. No, 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 wait. no, come on! Why did he go back? He's connected to the Marines. That was my D. That was Caster Curse. That was totally my fault. Yeah, that was uh, way to go, Zombie Gub. You, you really screwed the pooch on that one. <laughs> Damn, so sorry. Uh, uh, potential Tiger's planetary. Two, two. 
is like way farther ahead now, though. Uh, Katz is getting maybe a little too tunnel vision but here. But if you can do enough damage here, what good is 2-2 two -two if you've got no units to give it to? And those, those Banelings didn't really kill a lot of SCVs. They're not going to get on top of the production. You know, Tag is oh, 13 he, you know time. he might not be on top of the production, but he's been on top of the Medivac. Oh, he's been on top of the Medivac, so... I mean, this is going to be a situation where Taiga is going to be stimming through the middle of the map, and there's going to be like three medevacs healing that army. <laughs> yeah, that does kind of suck. But I mean, that 2 2 is way far ahead. Um, Cats with a 50 supply lead, that's what he has, you know, ahead. And I think he can certainly buy enough time so the upgrades won't be as big of a deal. But like, imagine if Taiga buys enough time to get the 180 supply and 3 3. Like, then that suddenly is a huge deal. Like, Cats couldn't quite end it because of those upgrades. Yeah. Uh, 2 2 2 coming across the board here for Cats. As you mentioned, his upgrades are a little bit behind, but. Uh, I really don't think it's going to have that big of a bearing because he's been so banling heavy. It's not been Zerglings. It's not like he's been making six banlings and like 50 lings. It's the other way around. So they'll still have that burst damage necessary. Well, 20 mutas with plus two on the way. Ah, I can take that these missile turrets. No problem. Even with the mass repair. Yep. Going to send some of these SCVs packing. Uh, are there any wood mines coming? It's just Marines though. And the Overseer is down. Oh, don't die. Okay, so he gets one Overseer, one Muta, and saves the Medivac. Save the Medivacs, please. Creeps pretty out of cats, though. I mean, at this point, still pretty out of control for where it is on the map. I mean, this is, uh, again, not just areas Taiga doesn't want to engage on, like literally half the map, but also just all that vision, uh, knowing when and where these drops and pushes will come from. He's actually going to catch this drop really nicely. I guess Katz has some type of like hot key setup for his uh his like larva injects, right? His creep spreading queen is like back with another queen. Ah, I just feel like it could be so much further out, right? He could be totally dominant on the map. It's, the third. <laughs> it's it's only really good. It's not amazingly really good, okay? I mean, let's just be Scarlet here, okay? If you're gonna shoot for the stars. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Actually, gets another one out there. So, it's starting up again. Alright, the Infestation Pit's also coming up. Cat's definitely someone we've seen go towards Hive Deck, but he's also someone, he's one of the few Terran players, we've seen, or Zerg players, we've still seen use Fungal Growths. Uh, I'm personally a big fan of it versus Terran. We don't see it enough, I feel, but uh, we'll see if that comes into effect. Tiger does have a surprisingly large army for the engagements he's been taking in this game. Sitting at 122 Oops. supply, marching across the map like this, but good know. Bailey connects. He can level this out very quickly. I don't know if it's a good RV. Yeah, it's it like all Marines is the problem. He does actually get some good splits here. Yeah, great splits. Uh, I still don't know if he can completely push up into this. The spine cross will buy a little bit of time. Cats finds himself without that second round of Bane Yo, This is a big problem. Uh, oftentimes, Zerg players will put it all on the line. You don't have that second wave morphing in behind it, but still cleans up this push, and Taiga... Oh, Taiga. There's yeah, a lot of had, momentum he had past tense. You had... You know, you could have had a, a lot more Wood of Mines. You could have had a Thor in there as well, and that army would look a lot <laughs> a lot bigger and a lot scarier, and uh, would have stayed around for a lot longer. Oh, well, most spines lived. Are you kidding me? <laughs> 9 and 13 health each. Well, uh, sitting on a third base, Command Center is down. He'll go over to a fourth. He'll probably be a planetary. If you can actually get that fourth base, I'll feel a little bit better about Tiger's position in the game. Again, coming up on 3 3 and Castle only just starting his hive, there'll be a small one of opportunity where he's got this really nice upgrade lead. But whether he can take advantage of that or not is still going to be up in the air. What of mines are on cooldown, so Cats can be here and wipes out the SVs once again. SCVs killed this game so Whoa. far. Not that many, you, uh, but... You got bone on that transfer, bro. <laughs> uh, bro! He picks up. <laughs> they lose the CC at the natural. I mean, that's a big deal to lose this orbital. He can lose this CC, too. Oh, uh, no, please he, don't. Well, he probably could no, and will. No, no. Oh, no. He's going to try and save with the Marines, but there's some Bailey's rolling in. Uh, off of creep, so not ideal for cats, but... Still takes a pretty good fight, and the command center is killed with the planetary cancel on it. Thor coming out, but a little too late to the party. Magic box already, and I'm thinking this is kind of the end here. Well, he's up by about 100 supplies, so if Cats throws it here, I don't know. Well, I mean, something. Yeah. GG. All right.